Okay, so nine eight seven nine eight thirty two one seven zero. <laughs> I'll be in a woofy voice. Did you make a puppy mask today? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You make that for a story or did you do that because you wanted to? I made that for dog day because it's dog day. It's dog day today? Yeah. I did not know that. What are you supposed to do on dog day? Any dog stuff. Any dog stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are you going to do for dog day? Uh, Are you going to read a book today? Where... We're going to do a listening activity. Okay. So I'm going to read some very short stories, but there's really only one picture to look at. There's not a lot of clues in the picture. Most of what you have to do is listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe one of the stories will have a dog story. Oh! But we don't know. We'll have to... We'll have to see if we come across a dog story. D-O-G-S. All right. Are dogs. dogs your favorite or cats your favorite? Dogs. Didn't cats used to be your favorite, Gracie? Mm-hmm. You switched over to dogs? Mm-hmm. What do y'all have at home? I have Maybell. And she's Is that just a dog a or a cat? A dog with a puppy braid. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought you had dogs, not cats. Yeah, All right. Yeah. So this is the picture for my first story. So just looking at the picture, we know what season is it? Winter. Yeah, we know the season's going to be winter. And we know that... They've had some kind of snow. And do you know what it is that he's doing? He's raking out the snow. Yeah, it's not called a rake when it's snow. It's a rake when it's leaves. But when it's snow, we call it a shovel, even though it looks different from like a garden shovel. Because a garden shovel is to dig up dirt. This is to mm. scoop up the snow. Mm. Mm. Have you ever had to do that? Yeah. You've had to shovel? Yeah. I don't think you've had to shovel snow before. We don't get that much. All right. Now so are you ready for my story? Yes. Ooh. Remember, get we just have to listen. Up. And I'm going to ask you about who is in my story. I'm going to ask you about what they're doing. I'm going to ask you about why they're doing it. So there's a lot of listening. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Is it all about okay. dogs? It's not about dogs. There's no dog in this story. All right. Damon wanted to help his dad. He decided to shovel the snow off of the sidewalk before his dad came home from work. He went into the garage to get a big shovel. He shoveled and shoveled the snow, starting at the front steps and shoveling all the way to the driveway. When he looked back, he said, oh, no, it's snowing so hard again that the sidewalk is covered again. I'll never finish this job. So who was in my story, Gracie? David. All right. And so what was he doing? Shoveling off the snow. Yes. Why did he decide to shovel the snow? Because there's snow on the sidewalk. The, it, there is, but he wanted to help someone out. It wasn't his chore to do. He didn't have to do it, but he was being nice. Why did he decide to do it? 
he decided to do it because he was a big, responsible boy. Who was he helping? Raking the snow. I mean, I'm shoveling the snow. Here, I'm going to read a couple of the sentences to you, and you're listening to why he decided to rake the snow. He's helping someone. So we're going to try to listen for who he's helping out. Are you ready? Ready? <clears throat> Damon wanted to help his dad, so he decided to shovel the snow off of the sidewalk before his dad came home from work. So who is he helping out? Break out means shovel out the snow. Who is he helping out? This is a really tricky question for you. Dad. Dad, that's right. He's helping out dad. Because And where is dad right now? Outside. He's not outside. He's not at home. Where's dad? In the yard. Not in the yard. Do you need me to read a sentence again? Nope. Are you going to come figure it out? Yes. Dad is somewhere right now. He is not at home. He's not playing outside. Where is dad? He is in the back uh, porch. I'm going to read this sentence again, and I want you to listen for where dad is, okay? Dad is still... He decided to shovel the snow off of the sidewalk before his dad came home from work. So where is dad right now? Dad is at uh, mm, the store. Not at the store. Dad's at work. Where is dad? Work. Work. So dad's at work. It's been snowing. When dad gets home, does he need to park his car in the garage? No. He does. That's what he needs to do. But... There's snow all over the driveway, and so he can't get to the to the garage. So that's why Damon is outside shoveling. All right. So he started at the front steps and went all the way down the driveway. And then when he did a whole lot of work, he yelled, oh, no. Why did he say, oh, no? Because what did he see? He, the snow was... Hmm. It, the sidewalk was covered in snow again. Exactly. Why was it covered in snow again? Because he, because David decided to shovel off the snow, and it did it again. Well, he decided to go outside and shovel while it was still snowing. And if you shovel snow while it's still snowing, the snow's just going to pile up again. So was that a good choice? What's the answer? Not really. He probably should have Cooper. waited for the uh, snow to where's stop. Where's Cooper? All right. So now I want you to tell me the story. Greta, where is Cooper? I don't know. I don't even know who Cooper is. The yes, I don't know who Cooper is either. The smaller, uh, West pup, Westy puppy. Okay. All right, now Gracie, I... I need you to tell me the story now. David is right, is shoveling off the snow. Okay. That's, that's not the whole story. Here, let me, um. Let me type what you've said so far. So his name was Damon, but through the Zoom, I think you heard David, and that is okay because it's very similar. So David was shoveling the snow. Why? Because. Because he. Because he. Saw. The snow. Okay. Well, that wasn't why. It was because he wanted to help 
someone. Help. Help. Someone. Do Who it. did he want to help? Uh, Dad. There you go. So David was shoveling the snow because he wanted to help his dad. So after working so hard, what did he notice? That the snow piled up again. Why did it pile up again? Because... Hmm. He is not, because he is not an expert on finishing. Because it was still snowing. Do you not see how we put the word because snowing. in both of our sentences to give a reason why he was doing these things? Yeah. So he was snowing, or he was shoveling snow. Why? Because he wanted to help his dad. After working so hard, he noticed that the snow piled up again. Why? Because it was still snowing. So now he did all that work, and he's just going to have to do more work. Oh, my goodness. So did you like that story? Mm -hmm. What did you like about that story? I love snow so much that because... He wanted to help his dad. Okay. I found... A dog story? A dog story. Get okay. your paws up. So here's the picture. Wow, wow. Woof, woof. Stop and listen. Does this look like a good, a good story? What's the suggestion? It looks like something bad might happen. Let's listen. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wally's big brother usually walks the dog. Wally asked his brother if he could hold the leash today. His big brother said he could try, but he might be too, too small. Wally took the leash and said, let's go, Spot. Spot started running so fast that Wally was tossed in the air. However, he held onto the leash Wally's brother grabbed the leash and said, Wally, let's hold the leash together and walk Spot. So who was in my story? Spot. And? Wally. And who else? And Mom. Mm, not Mom. Mm -hmm. Spot was the dog. Wally was the little brother. And then there was the... Man. Big brother. But the story didn't tell us his name. So it's just Wally, Spot, and Big Brother. They didn't give him a name in the story. That happens sometimes. So who usually walks to Spot? Wally's Big Brother does that. Yeah, Wally's Big Brother usually does that. Why do you think Wally's Big Brother usually does it? Because Spot must be far too little. Is Spot too little? No. Who's too little? The the bigger the the little brother. The little brother. Wally is too little, right? Yeah. So Big Brother usually walks Spot because Big Brother is bigger, and so he can handle Spot when Spot's being not be very good and taking off and running all right so what does why do you think wally wants to walk the dog because he has a big responsible job to do well is it usually wall is it usually wally's job no mm -hmm. but he decided to help his brother he said i want to do it why do you think he said i want to do it because it's wally's job no, it's not Wally's job. I think he just wanted to feel big like his brother, don't you think? Yeah. He either wanted to help his brother or he wanted to feel big like his brother. All right. So what happened?
happened when Wally took the leash. Spot started running. What was wrong with what, how Spot was running? He was going too fast. too fast. Could Wally keep up? No. No. So, who grabbed the leash? Wally's bigger brother. Yes. And so, at the end of the story, Wally's bigger brother said, let's hold the leash together and walk Spot. Why do you think he said we should do this together? Because it it, it could be it, his help. Is it his help? I think it's because his big brother knew he is too little and he needed help. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, who do you think, what do you think they're going to do now? Who's going to well, give the dog walks? Do you think Wally's going to take over that job? What's the answer? What do you think? Do you think Wally's going to take over the job and this is going to be his chore now to walk a dog? No. Did he do a good job with it? No. No. <laughs> he didn't do a good job with it. All right. So now... Let me show you the picture real quick and share my screen and pop back over to my Word document. And let's just get rid of this. Now I want you to tell me the story. Wally and his big brother Nikki started walking Spot, but he was too fast. What happened? He started running. Hey, anything else? He and uh, Nikki had Wally's help. All right. Anything else? Anything else is, uh, mm, he, anything else is that he, that Nikki helped him, help, helped Wally hold, uh, mm, 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 the dog, the dog's leash. Okay, so I want you to read this for me, and then let's see if we need to fix any of it. So you read the story to me that you said. Wally and his brother started walking Spot, but he was too fast. He started running. Nikki had Wally's help. Nikki helped Wally hold the dog's leash. Okay, so first of all, did you did you add a name to the story? Yes. Yeah, because we didn't we didn't have a name for Wally's brother. But when it first started, who did we say usually has the job of walking the dog? Wally. Not Wally. Mm -hmm. Nikki. His big brother usually walks the dog, right? But Wally wanted to try it. Isn't that how the story started? Yeah. Yes. So Wally's big brother usually walks the dog, but Wally wanted to try it. Now, were Wally and his brother both holding the leash? Yeah. Mm, who was holding the leash? Wally. Yeah. When Wally took the leash what happened with spot spot started running running yeah so did nick did did wally need his brother's help 
Yes. Yeah. So Wally was too little to walk the dog. Oh, I so he needed his big brother's help, right? Yeah. So they both held the leash, right? Yeah. Yes. So did, did that retell the story a little bit better? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's find one more story. Where's the one I like? Where did it go? I did one with a friend um, the other day. All done. To your par. Oh, this was like yesterday. <laughs> did you go outside yesterday? This is all about Weber. Did you go outside yesterday? Yeah. It rained on, on and off yesterday. It Ooh. poured here for a little bit around lunchtime. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. This will be our last story today. Yeah. It is a rainy day, and Millie's mother needs bread from the store, but her car won't start. She says... I can't make sandwiches for lunch because I don't have any bread. Millie's grandmother lives next door. Millie told her mother she would walk next door to her grandmother's house to borrow some bread. She put on her raincoat and boots and took an umbrella so she would not get wet. She took a plastic bag to put the bread slices in so they wouldn't get wet either. So who is in my story? Millie's mother and Millie. Very good. And so where is Millie going? Outside because it rained. Is she going outside because it's raining? With an umbrella? Well, but she's going somewhere. There's somewhere specific she's trying to go. Somewhere specific she's going to go. The store. Yes. Yeah, She's not going to the store. Where was she going? She is going to a specific s store that has food. Well, first of all, what is it that her mom ran out of? Bread. Bread. Why did she need bread? Because she needs to use the bread so she can make sandwiches. Exactly. So where are they going to get some bread? The star. No. They're not going to the star. Do you need the me to read that part again? No, I want to say the fridge. Mm, they're not going to get it from the fridge. Are they getting it from the market? They're not getting it from the market. Remember, mom's car isn't going to start, and so she can't drive to the market. Why? So is Millie's going to go somewhere to get some bread, but it's not the store. It's the refrigerator. Not the refrigerator. I'm going to read it again, and I want you to listen where they're getting the bread from. You ready? Okay. Millie's grandmother lives next door, so Millie told her mother she would walk next door to her grandmother's house to borrow some bread. So where are they going to get bread? Grandmother's. They're going to go to grandma, because grandma just happens to live close to them. Could this work for everybody? Yes. It wouldn't work for me. If I ran out of bread, I can't just go next door. My mom doesn't live next door to me. <laughs> So, she's going next door to Grandma's house to get some bread, right? Yeah. Yes. So, why does she have an umbrella and a raincoat and a plastic bag? Because she needs to use it for making, making sandwiches. Does she need an umbrella and a raincoat and a bag to make sandwiches? No, she needs to go. Why did she put, 
Why does she have those things? Because she needs them to protect them from getting wet. Exactly. Why did she bring a plastic bag with her? Because she wanted to use the plastic bag for making sandwich for the sandwich for the ingredients for making sandwiches. Well, so is she going to eat the sandwich at her grandma's house? No, she's going to eat it no. at her house. Exactly. So she has to get the bread from grandma's house and bring it back to her house. Does she want it to get all wet? No. Mm -mm. That's why she has the plastic bags. She's going to put the bread in the plastic bags, and then when she walks home with it, the bread will stay dry. Because I don't want to have wet, soggy bread for my sandwiches. Do you? No. Me neither. So, I want you to tell me the story now. It was a rainy day on the, on the, on the street. And? And it was rainy. I mean, and and Millie and Millie's mother wanted to make sandwiches. Okay. Sounds like someone is throwing up in the hallway outside my room. Oh no! They... <laughs> you can't hear it though. All right, so it was a rainy day on the street, and Millie and Millie's mother wanted to make sandwiches. But what was the problem? She can't, the car will not start. But what was the problem before that? Her umbrella would not, turn, would not open. That wasn't a problem in my story. The problem was they were out of something. Yeah. What were they out of? They were out of bread. Bread. And mom's car wouldn't start. So what does Millie do? Walk down to the street. Where does she walk to? Grandma's house. Grandma's house. To borrow. Borrow some of her bread. There you go. Do you want to add anything else? What's the answer? I can't tell you the answer I asked you. Is there anything you want to add to the story? Yes. What? So they wanted to make sandwiches. Okay. That's it. All right, you read what you said. And let's see if we need to fix anything. They stopped. They wanted to make sandwiches. Well, read what she wrote. Sandwiches. Gracie, are you listening? Read. No. What? No, don't tell me. No, I want you to read your story and see how it sounds. It was a rainy day on the street. And Millie's and Millie's brother wanted to make sandwiches. The problem was they were out of bread and mom's car wouldn't start. Millie walks to grandma's house to borrow some bread. They wanted to make sandwiches. Okay. So, we'll maybe fix that next time. All right, my friend, it is 1230. And you have to zoom, I think, with Miss Anspa, huh? Yeah.
Yes. All right. I will see you on Thursday. Bye. Right. Bye. Have a good afternoon.